Now, I know my Nickelodeon fans will love this guess. Ariel Paxton is a junior motion designer for Noggin. I mean, can you believe it? A real animator for real cartoons. She literally brings art to life on an everyday basis, and I can't wait for you to hear about her career as an illustrator. So, Ariel, thank you so much for coming. Thank you. Are you excited to play? <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> awesome, so we're gonna be playing Jenga to get to know you a little better. So basically, each of us will remove one block and place it at the top of the tower without making it collapse. If it collapses, then that round of the game is over and another one begins. Now, as you can see, the tower has four different colors. Each color represents a theme. When you pull a specific colored block, you will have to answer a question from that color theme. And the color themes include purple for childhood memories, red for career, green for inspiration, and blue for a challenge. So, would you like to do the honors? Yes. Okay, I'm gonna choose this one. Okay, yeah, that one looks really easy. Perfect! Okay, purple, childhood memories. Describe how you became an animator. Did you go to college or university? What did you study? And why did you choose that major? I um, went to Savannah College of Art and Design, which is SCAD campus um, in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. And I chose to well, get my degree in animation. And the reason I chose that is at a young age, I watched a lot of cartoons. Mm -hmm. And since I fell in love with it, I really wanted to bring that joy of watching cartoons to a younger audience as well. So that's kind of where I started. <laughs> Okay, so I will go ahead and pick one. Okay. Uh, I think this one, yep, looks pretty easy. <laughs> okay, so blue, challenge. Okay. Let's see. What is your experience being a black woman working in a tech space? So far, it's been like, a good experience, but I feel like the thing, or in the few studios that I have worked or had the privilege to work in, I feel like there's not as many of me. Mm -hmm. There might be some black people that do work there, but it seems like it's very few. Mm -hmm. So it's like, I'm not sure if there needs to be more outreach programs so that way more people know that the jobs are available or if people aren't sure if those jobs are something they actually want to take. But that seems to be my experience so far in my field. Okay, um, let's see, do this one. Okay, cool, career. Mm -hmm. What is the role of an animator or digital development artist? Well, a 2D animator usually takes a character and make it move, have action, and kind of like interact in the environment that it, it's in. Mm -hmm. And for me, like I'm a, a junior motion designer, so I take basically pre-existing designs and I create stories and storyboard those characters so that way whenever there's like basically a main plot, the animators have something to work off of. Uh, let's do, let's do green inspiration. Uh, yeah, <laughs> this, honestly, it's, it's like 50-50. Okay, you got it. There you okay, go. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> hey, nice, awesome. All right, so green for inspiration. Tell us about designing a character. Where do you start and how do you get inspiration? I like to start on who the character is, where the character's from, what they want, kind of like already imagining them as like a, a real life person, which sounds weird in retrospect, but it's like you're trying to make this character believable to the audience. So you want something that you can kind of pull from real life. So if you know someone that you kind of want to like make a character design off of, maybe take someone who you know personally or someone who you have you've met in your life and start there and then rough out that process, start off with forms, like simple shapes mm -hmm. and from there like you go ahead and line it out and then you have your final character design. <laughs> nice. Oh gosh, this is getting harder. Um, I know. Okay, that that's a good one to pull in the middle. Oh, it's trying to come out. Wait, wait, ah, that, wait. Oh, here, here, I'll just, I'll Thank just you. Put it for you. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Nuts, childhood memories, love that. What are some tools that you would recommend for young artists now? You could use Storyboard, which is a good alternative for a Storyboard Pro if you don't want to spend that much money. There are also like the regular Adobe Suite programs. If you do have a little bit of money saved up, you can get um, Photoshop, Illustrator, After Effects. If you're wanting another free program, there's Open Tunes. There are definitely a wide array of options you could choose, but definitely do your research and make sure that you're using your resources so that we are not spending too much money on like the most expensive programs first. Right, mm -hmm. better to start small. Yeah, yeah, nice. I keep choosing the like loosest one. I mean, it's working for you though. <laughs> Inspiration. Tell us about your favorite artist or art piece and why they inspire you. Oh, wow. Uh, 
Floyd Norman, like I think he's like the pinnacle of like animation for me because he's like basically one of the first black animators at Disney. Mm. So it's almost like he paved a way for other animators or at least for other black animators to realize, oh, this is a career that I can actually like try out for. I think really changed the game for a lot of people. Uh, I think it's your turn. Okay. Um, Ooh, it's getting, it's getting difficult. So I'm gonna try to blow this one. Oh. oh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> Honestly, we came really far. Like we yes. did a really, really good job. Well, thank you so much, Ariel, for stopping by and playing Codezo Jenga with me today. I hope you had a lot of fun. I did, I did. <laughs> awesome, until next time.